Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to visualize the L2 and the L1 loss function in simple linear regression. And then you can extend this uh, to any of the regressions that you're working on. So we'll just, the data that we're going to use for this particular example is a simple data where you will have sunshine in hours as the X value and attendance it is in thousands as the y value and we are going to predict based on the number of hours of sunshine how many people are going to attend a particular event okay this is in thousands so it's a simple setup and like uh, usually we'll import our libraries matplotlib numpy pandas you get import the data set check the correlation since this is a toy data set and a made up data set the correlation is very high and then you assign x and y okay respective columns from the data set then you would do some kind of a, a visual pre-processing so you would check the scatter plot between x and the y values and then you will create your linear regression model okay so so far uh, you must have done this many times so once you get the coefficient and the intercept okay and then you can also just use the predict function to predict the uh, y values and then plot your original values versus the predicted values okay okay so now we know that the best fit line this this best fit line it is defined by this formula that it is a sum of squared errors such that this particular line the sum of the squared errors is minimum and the line where this sum of squared errors is minimum that is a best fit line so the summation of the actual y value minus the predicted y value the square of this summation of this wherever it is minimum that is the best fit line so if you look at it this is our loss function now what we are going to do is we are going to plot the coefficient on the x-axis and the loss on the y-axis. Coefficients are also called as weights as soon as you enter the neural network or the deep learning domain. So let us call it as the weight or you can call it coefficient if you are still doing a machine learning and on the y-axis we are plotting our loss so you will notice that for one particular weight okay this is our loss now let's do one thing let us manually change the weights and just see how our uh, this this surface is called the loss surface so what we are going to see is we will change manually our weights and we will see how the loss surface behaves okay and this is the l2 loss formula where you are taking a quadratic equation so let us take a range of values for uh, our weights or the slope and let us plot this loss function so I have a, a bunch of code ready with me so that you don't have to uh, see me typing so let us do a side by side two figures the first figure will be our the the loss surface figure and the second figure will be our the lines figure so what I have done here is I have taken some weights okay and um, let us take the range of weights so let me take the slope to be from 2.5 to 9 okay with a step size of 0.5 and each of this value is my slope
for each of these slopes we are going to assign this coefficient okay this model dot underscore uh, dot coef underscore this value to be this slope value and then we are going to predict for that particular slope what the model gives us the prediction that we keep in the y pred and we are going to append the y pred and then we are also going to append the loss function sorry uh, the loss array okay so if um, the if you look at the uh, formula it is actually sum of y minus y pred whole square divided by half into the length of x it's okay if you want to use this uh, complete formula as such or it's okay if you want to just use the y minus y pred whole square okay so now we have the slope the loss and the predicted y values and let us see these two graph so the first graph is your this is your surface the loss surface graph where on the x axis you have the different slopes on the y axis you have the loss in the actual loss and for each of this each of this point corresponds to a line here okay so this was my best fit line this black line is the best fit line these are the original data points okay uh, and so this best fit line is corresponding to the minimum point on this curve here and as soon as you change the slope okay so each point on this loss surface is actually a line on your a regression line on your regression surface you can call it okay or the regression equation the way you are looking at your independent variable and the dependent variable so the more you go away from the best fit line the more your slope changes the higher the loss it is okay so this is your surface loss each the important point here to notice that each point on this surface loss corresponds to a line in your this particular plot okay so this is the 2d view so far i have not plotted the bias here now let us see in 3d how we can plot the bias and how we can look at the graph so for 3d we are going to require these particular now in the 3d what i am going to do is there will be a slight change in the way I am taking the slope and the bias since I know that my x values these x values there are 10 data points I am taking 10 slope 10 points as slopes and 10 points as bias okay and then I create a mesh grid of the slope and the bias and using this mesh grid okay for the corresponding slope and the corresponding bias we are going to create the predicted y values and a loss function will be y minus y pred whole square okay now this we are going to project on a 3d surface which will be our it's a 3d projection and it's a surface plot where on the x axis we are going to give the slope on the y axis we are going to give the bias and on the z is our loss function and you would see such kind of a loss surface okay which is a kind of a quadratic kind of a bowl not exactly a bowl here it really depends on your uh, data points but if you look at it very closely it will resemble a a bowl kind of a surface because 
your loss function is a quadratic function okay. the highest loss is the lighter function here see since we have used the color map as where it is and the lowest data point you will figure out is the slope and the bias for which you had got the best fit line that is the lowest point in this particular bound okay this is how you are going to visualize your l2 loss now let's do the same thing for l1 loss how will my l1 loss look like so in the l1 loss we can use this same okay. and instead of the power now we'll just use the absolute value after using the absolute value let's project the absolute value here and let's look at the loss surface you would see a v shaped surface okay so this is how you are going to visualize your l1 and the l2 losses i hope this helps you to understand what is going on you know on the gradient descent things that we see in the deep learning it will help you to visualize uh, from a simple linear regression if you can understand how is the w and the bias selected okay you would be able to understand the future loss functions as well you can plot each and every of your loss functions like this the you can plot plot your binary cross entropy you can plot your categorical cross entropy any kind of loss function you can just take some points and then for your own visualization purposes you can write the code of the loss function and try and visualize it in 3d Thank you.